What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. Payola here and we're here with the BMW i8 the Ferrari of hybrid plug-ins. Let's talk about it. All right? So first of all, we're going to talk about the appearance, the exterior of the vehicle, and then we'll go into the performance. So if we're sitting here comparing this to a Ferrari, let's say a California, right? Let's talk about the price ranges too, right? We're not talking about no 348. That's a $300,000 friggin' Ferrari. We're not talking about it. We're talking about, you know, a nice, decent, affordable Ferrari compared to another, another nice, decent, affordable BMW. That's what we're gonna talk about, All right? So, you know, if we were gonna compare this to like a nice California, Ferrari California, like it can hang. You know what I mean? Like the, the front, it's low, it's aggressive. It's just a very unique car. It's just like this one of one, you know, you have large tires, large rims, sorry. 20 inch rims and whatnot. And I just uh, I just love this little wing here at the back. You know, it's really cool. Just like, you know, how the aerodynamics work of this vehicle. Uh, it's a really cool car, you know? See that the engine's in the back here. So this is where it ventilates out to the back of the trunk. Uh, it's a very simple car, guys. You know, it's very sleek, it's low. It has all wheel drive. And then when you're not using all wheel drive, you just have rear wheel drive coming from the back. So like if we're comparing in looks to the Ferrari, you guys, you know, it can hang. There's no way like the Ferrari looks like it's so much better than the i8 or anything like that. I feel like for this price, you know what I mean? This car is just amazing for the price too. You understand? So let's look at the interior. The white interior, you know, with the black accents inside here. I got these uh, cool mats from Amazon. Sorry, not Amazon, eBay, actually, you guys. eBay, you know? Let's see here. Got the doors swinging up in the air. Man, like, compared to a Ferrari, man, like, this car is just so much more of a head turner. You know? Don't get it twisted, of course, if I see a Ferrari, I'm gonna look at the Ferrari, but man, like, if these cars are Ferrari and the IAs is parked beside each other, like, the Ferrari, the IAs is gonna get just as much love as a Ferrari, like, tell me I'm wrong, All right? So, and I'm a Ferrari guy too, I like the Ferrari. If I had to buy a Ferrari, it would be the F430. I would probably be like one of my next cars if I had to buy a Ferrari. So don't, don't get it twisted, guys. I do love Ferrari, right? F430, F, F you know, specifically that model. Uh, yeah, guys, so now uh, let's talk about some simple uh, performance of the vehicle now. So, like, you know, this car, compared to your average vehicle, it's pretty fast. You know, the car is about 357 horsepower, guys. So... It's pretty quick. It doesn't sound like that much on paper. And um, my bad, guys. Earlier, I mentioned 348, right, um, Ferrari. But I meant to say 458 Ferrari. So if we're going to talk about, like, the specs, you know what I mean, with the cars and whatnot. So like I said, the i8 is a 357, right? And then uh, the Ferrari um, is actually a 562. So it's actually just two more horsepower faster than my M6. Right, and then uh, if we're gonna talk about the California, the California is about 450 horsepower, right? So once again, like I said, like, you know, where are we really going to to wanna drive so fast and whatnot? You know what I mean? Like we have regular highways, unless you wanna get your shit taken away. Oh yeah, go ahead, boost it up to 600, 700,000 horsepower. Like, unless you're just gonna be on the roads and you're not gonna hit the track or anything like that or drag racing and it's senseless to to need that type of horsepower in your car, unless you just want it there just to, for bragging rights, per se. Uh, but yeah, man, other than that, um, the only thing that I think that this car is missing um, to make it like a, a full supercar, per se, like, you know, they, um, there's no, like, you know, there's no um, high performance, uh, suspension um there's no 
the, the steering doesn't stiffen up and getting gets tighter during sport mode you know what i mean just little things like that like those are the two main things too like you know what i mean when you're driving a supercar you know what i mean like it's about the feeling too the steering and you can feel it in the suspension and little things like that as for like the power though you know what i mean i'm happy with it right um especially knowing that i have another vehicle that has 560 horsepower right and then i have this i'm i'm pretty humble right but, um, but yeah man i love this car you guys you know this car is about 70 grand a california is about 140 grand and then the 458 is a 300 thousand dollar car all right so yeah the 458 is nice but who wants to spend 300 thousand uh, the name of the game is to drive something nice well not just drive it to drive something nice but drive a vehicle that you love right and uh still have some money in the bank right so everyone everyone's finances are different so it's whatever that you can afford that you love and still have money in the bank right oh yeah i love a ferrari what i love 458 but if i had 300 grand i'm not gonna put 300 grand into 458 like come on let's, let's use our brain here right but um yeah that's that being said coming from an owner's review i do recommend this car it's a nice vehicle you know it's very it's very good on gas 60 bucks to fill it up from empty if you need um other supercars are they're up there the price See, like you're spending what what 140 150 to put gas back in these cars um this car is only 60 bucks from empty so yeah man you can't really go wrong you can't go wrong with that at all and um like i said i'm very happy with this car i love it since 2014 when it released um i was very fascinated by this car like this and the m6 is m6 is actually like my two favorite cars in the world right other than like you know um a lamborghini um gallardo for example or a four or a ferrari 458 you know or f430 but um yeah guys so if you guys ever decide to purchase a bmw i8 you know i say go ahead and do it man you have nothing to lose and um later on this car it can only depreciate so much right this is not your average vehicle it's not going to depreciate like a regular m5 or even my m6 for example um of course it's going to depreciate but it's not going to go down to no forty thousand. not in canada and toronto at least that, that shit ain't happening i bet you